This episode is sponsored by AwesomeDrinks.com. This month, I turned 38, so save 15% using coupon code GREATIN38. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show, but I've got with me nobody again. This is still me solo, and this time, we're going to be creating the Lace Tre... <laughs> Le Trace Ojos. The three eyes, I believe it means. Um, this was submitted by Richard, and Richard said that it was inspired by the water of Lace... Le, is it Le Trace Ojes? Ojos uh, in the Dominican Republic. Dominican speaks Spanish, so it's I didn't know they had lace. I thought it was le and la and oh, whatever. So, or L. Isn't it L and la? I don't know where lace comes from, but I think it's la. Either way, this drink is inspired, and if you Google L-E-S-T-R-E-S-O-J-O-S, and you see what it looks like on Wikipedia, it's like that they had this cave, and in the cave is this crazy water, and it's like bluish like uh what's that the color of crazy water jennifer <laughs> it's like oh. greenish blue like the aquamarine is that the right color teal i don't even know but it's got like that cool color sea to it green? i'll go with sea green um so i'm guessing this is going to come out to sea green because it's got malibu coconut rum one ounce that's clear it doesn't make a difference uh midori one ounce it's green it will make a difference three quarters of an ounce of creme baguette creme de bananas or i'm using 99 bananas clear it's not going to do it. It's not going to do anything. Uh, but blue and green, there you go. Those are your two colors that are going to make a difference. Then we also have uh, a ha an ounce of whipped cream. And I don't have, I'll use this OXO because I don't see another measuring cup and I haven't cleaned my stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this drink. I'm going to put this in first because now you can use spray whipped cream. I, I'm a, oh, I love this stuff. I'm so partial to this stuff. I can just sit down and eat this whole thing. Um, look, it's only got 25 calories <laughs> per two tablespoons. So, how much is a tablespoon? Is that 25 calories right there? Anyway, let's see if I can get. It's kind of hard to measure in a solid um, ounce with a liquid measure. I don't. Is, is whipped cream solid or liquid, Jennifer? That's good. Solid. Oh. Either way. Uh, uh. You know what? I'm just going to rinse whatever I'm making next over it. So I'm going to start with Malibu Coconut because it's right here. I noticed last week they redesigned the bottle a little bit. They made it, they gave it a little feminine curve to it. I wonder if they're trying to attract the female audience or what they're doing. I I'm fairly certain the female audience already knows and loves the Malibu. But, you know, well, this stuff just ain't coming off. Whatevs. Just keep adding to the flavor. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add an ounce of these ingredients. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of these other ingredients. And then, where's my Midori? W once we have all that done, we're gonna top with pineapple juice. Let's see how that goes. So we're gonna put it in a, in a uh, martini style glass, cocktail glass. I don't know, I just follow instructions. Also, if you guys, if you're into cocktails and you're going to Tales of the Cocktail this year, you're going to find that me, Jennifer, and Ian will be there. We're going to be showing up on Wednesday. That's and New the Orleans. Curd. And the curd. The curd will be there earlier, I think. Uh, the curd is going with his wife, and so we, we're, we've we scheduled that up. And I have put in the the, I have the hotel. We have the plane. flight. Now it's just getting the classes that we want to take. We have our own plane. Uh, so, they're just kidding, we have our own plane. That's We have the CMC plane. So if anybody's going to go... Let me know. You can go to talesofthecocktail.com, and if that's not the right URL, because I could be making some of that up, I don't think I am, but if I am, just Google Tales of the Cocktail. It's a big cocktail conference that happens every July. Uh, there's classes that you can reg register for. It is not necessarily cheap. It's like $55 a class. You can take a crap ton of classes. Yeah, it's talesofthecocktail.com. Is it? Uh, but we will be there. It's a cocktail conference. Dude, where can you go where there's a cocktail conference? It's just this one. There is no other place that has cocktail conferences. Well, okay, that's not really true, but it's a big one. Will the cream and the pineapple curdle? Will the cream and the pineapple curdle? That is a great question. I say maybe a little bit, but uh, unfortunately, this stuff's really hard to get off. You know what, though? This is going to curdle in my mouth. The submitter... Richard says there's a little bit that kind of happened if you let it separate and go too long. 
So we'll see what happens. I'll just drink it fast. The acidity of pineapple juice isn't too insane. And if you can give this a good aggressive shake, it should separate enough that it becomes a new fluid. <laughs> Does that make sense? So we're gonna shake it pretty aggressively. A little lightheaded. I can't do that. Um, you could put ice in here ahead of time and chill it. Put it in the freezer if you want to. It came off really. Easy. Oh crap! Can you get me a strainer? Seems like it's now become a new product. Sweetness. Let's see how well we integrated these. Leave a little room. I don't see any separation. But you could definitely see the bubbles coming up. And I think there is, there is some pH lowering going on in here too because it seems to have really coated the edges, which is usually there's a little bit of acidity in there. That can happen. Spring. But that's the, that is about the color. If you go out and you look on, uh, search for Les Tres Ojos, Les Tres Ojos, you can uh, see that that's kind of the color, maybe a little darker green in certain areas, but when the light hits it. Definitely has a coating creaminess. Like you get that, that like slick feeling in your mouth from the, from the whipped cream. Adds a little bit of sweetness definitely has a little bit of an airy note to it. It didn't turn into yogurt like if you were to add, what did we, it wasn't a creme de cassis, I think it was, something with some yeah. acidity in it. When you add creme de cassis to that, to a cream, you definitely get, it's not curdled, it turns into a, like a yogurt almost, uh, which is, and it, it's still tasty, it's just very different mouthfeel. Uh, this doesn't have it, this is just kind of got that, okay, there's, there's some sort of cream in here. It could be whipped cream, it could be regular cream, I think you could have got away with half and half in this or heavy cream and got the same kind of effect out of it. Want a question of the day? I do. What color do you like for your cocktails? Cocktail color, name it right now. First thing that comes to mind, what's your favorite color? I like these colors. I like the the, the crazy greens, the shades of purples. Um, I also tend to, for some reason, like clear. I think because you don't see a lot of clear cocktails. I was once really blown away by um, the chocolate martini, which didn't have, it used uh, three olives chocolate, three olives vanilla, vodka, and uh, something else. Creme de, creme de cacao, and it was clear. So the whole drink was clear. It just looked cool, and you taste it. It's like, whoa, thick, crazy amounts of chocolate. So clear is cool because of that surprise factor. You don't know what it's going to be. With this type of drink, I usually feel that there's cream in there. Just looking at it, I would say there's cream in here. Either cream or a large amount of Irish cream. Big difference. If this had that much Irish cream in it, it would be super like hot. It would, you would feel that alcohol intensity. This, even with 99 bananas, you're not getting a lot of that. So the color is really, really tells you what this drink is gonna taste like. Cause it tastes like it, it has that sweet factor to it. Yet it's not giving me any type of mint. Those would be the two options, right? You look at that, you're like, oh, is that gonna be mint? Because minty cocktails that are green are just so minty. Don't need it. Um, so that's where the green can kind of throw you off. But if you smell it, it doesn't have any mint flavor to it. So you'd be safe. Definitely starts out with coconut, wrapped into a banana really quick. And then the finish is like a, a, a citrus pineapple. I'm not... You have to fight to find the Midori in here. I think the Midori is inherent in the sweetness, but 
the pineapple is very obvious near the finish, which is weird because it's sweeter, but everything else in here is even more sweet than the pineapple. And you do get the blue curacao. If you use a cheaper blue curacao, you may not notice it's in there. You might get a little bit of citrus, but the tart, just striking flavor of senior curacao, which is, by the way, I, I would guess we could call that the official blue curacao of common man cocktails because I don't really like anything else I have yet. There's stuff I like, like... I like I like Malibu, but I also like Crujan. I like Crujan a little bit more than Malibu because of some of the flavor profile differences. I like other coconut rums as well. I'm not a big fan of Coco Jack or whatever the hell it's called. It just sits in the back. But when you look at those different products, there's a lot of different variants, and sometimes you're in the mood for one and the other. Sometimes it calls for Malibu. Sometimes it calls for something that just says coconut rum. Um, Malibu tends to be a little bit sweet. When it comes to Blue Curacao, I have yet to find anything on the same level as Senior Curacao, so I just... Get rid of the rest of it. I use them for demoing for colors. Can we do another question of the day? I think we've done it before, but we can do it again. I think we've done the color one before. What's your favorite coconut rum? Yeah, what's your favorite coconut rum? Maybe we asked that last week. I don't know. Did we? Mm. Was it no, I don't. One? Well, there's a little bit of alcohol in the finish. So, yeah, what is your favorite? Blue Chair. Blue Chair Bay is a good one. Malibu, Crujan. I like Crujan and Blue Chair. Don Q. Um, Malibu's okay. Bacardi is poor. Though. Like, Bacardi is the... And people are going to be like, you're crazy. I found Bacardi to be the... Now, granted, Bacardi light rum, I should always pick as a, in a blind tasting as the best light rum. When I, The coconut is just bad. It doesn't have nearly the flavor that I would have expected. I've grown used to the sweetness of a Malibu and the flavorful, robust coconut flavor of Crujan that, to me, the... Bacardi is just like a watered down pretend. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good too. Malibu Black. Malibu Black is good. Yep, that's better than this. A little more weight to it, a little more flavor to it. Not as much sweetness. So you get a little bit more of that coconut coming through. Would probably work in here. Might change the color. Mess up the color. A little bit. It's not really black. Malibu Black is is more like an amber. Yeah, but it would still mess up the color. It would make, make it darker, which may still work for that water. But it needs to be a little bit vibrant. So if it, you lose, if it dulls it down, it would be kind of... Eh. Uh, so this is a drink, for those wondering, the lady drinks. Oh, I'm still going to make that playlist. Somebody has already sent me the, the, re the results of what we should put in our playlist for low alcohol content. But this is definitely something I think the ladies will like. On an alcohol scale, I'm going to go with a four. It's not... Clean and free, or free. It's not so sweet that you lose any alcohol. There's definitely a presence of alcohol in here. It tastes like an alcoholic drink. It just, it's easy to forget that alcohol bite with all the cool tropical flavors, the bananas, the pineapples, the citrus. There's everything in here just feels tropical. Thank you, Richard, for a nice tropical feeling drink. And I got to crack open the whipped cream, which is always a good time. Well, it's named after the Dominican. It has to be tropical. Is the Dominican considered tropical? Oh, water in the Dominican. It's an island. It's it's, I oh, consider that there. tropical. We'll yeah, but it, had, it, has, it has palm trees, and that's good enough, right, for tropical? It's tropical. I, I think it's it, like coldest time is like 77 degrees. That's pretty tropical. Yep. I like it. And it's in the, it's in the tropical, like that, band. So there you go. First off, you go to, you go to Punta Cana, or you go to the Dominican... <laughs> You. Lady equals low alcohol drink, yo. <laughs> That's right! That's science! Uh, so, go to the Dominican, enjoy it there, come back, drink this, and remember what it was like to be in a tropical place, because it'll help you reflect upon the awesomeness that was. We're done. Recipe at everydaydrinkers.com if you want to submit your recipes. Do it now. Um, we've got, we get tons of recipes, so you may say, oh, when's my recipe coming up? Give we, it a year. Uh, yeah, some of these recipes I've had for two years I've been sitting on. Um, if you have drinks that are hard or archaic to create, it will take even longer. I just don't have all the ingredients. See all these? If you have a drink and it has these, you're probably in the, you're probably in the clear. Just saying. And then when I collect enough, I'll buy that spirit and make more recipes. That's it. Patreon.com slash CMC. AwesomeDrinks.com. This is called, what do we call this? The Classy Martini? No. This is the Classic Martini Glass. Our best-selling martini glass, the one that survives the longest. Part martini glasses definitely do not sell in the store as well as the highballs, the big-ass Collins. highballs, the Collins glasses, the coupe glasses. They go through phases. Coupes, we haven't got a lot of coupe sales lately, but our tiki sales are going up. Yeah. So it's 
there's definitely some sort of, and I don't understand this season. season. Yeah, it's a guy. Maybe you guys know. When you're shopping for glasses, even if you don't buy from us or you don't buy online or you don't even buy, but you think about it, are there things that make you trigger to say, I need, I want a coupe glass. That would be great in a coupe glass. And then all of a sudden you're like, I really wish I had the glass. The, the, these are the ones that we start selling in this season. It's a glass tiki glass. Glass tiki glass. That's redundant. Uh, what is it that seems to trigger that in your brain? What do you, is it the season? Is it the heat? Is it state of mind? Or do you just on a whim go out and buy it? I just don't understand. So let me do that too. Now we're officially done. We're teaching you how to drink.